My conversation with legendary civil rights attorney John Burris, who also defended Rodney King. No justice, no peace. We wanted to know his thoughts on the guilty verdicts in the Derek Chauvin trial. This is a, a good a decision, a very positive one, and I hope the ghost uh, that uh, Rodney King presented in terms of the unwillingness to accept a black person being beaten and acknowledge that what happened to him was wrong. I hope this case says that kind of uh, memory and that kind of uh, uh, viewpoint is gone. Do you think this signals a sea change when it comes to police accountability or is it a one and done thing? I hope that's not the case. I hope that, that jurors and uh, that uh, uh, DAs now see this as a case, type of case that they can in fact prosecute. There are many, many cases where police brutality occurs in shooting cases, beating cases, tasers cases, where uh, prosecution should occur, where officers should be prosecuted, but they've been reluctant to do it. And so we're starting to see that there may be more in the future. And I'm hopeful that uh, people, uh, prosecutors have seen what can happen in George Floyd case, that you can get a conviction and you will not be run out of town, that, that possibly that will cause more cases to be prosecuted. And where do you think we go from here and what should we watch out for? I do have some concern about whether there could be a reversal at some point because of the high visibility in the circus atmosphere that surrounded the case. Uh, but that remains to be seen. I'm certain the lawyers will make some effort around that point. Now, I don't have facts to support that, but I'll have to tell you, if I'm on the other side, that's what I want to find out.